you, Vicky. We're leaving the beautiful shores of Raiatea and are on our way even further out into the South Pacific to a luxurious resort off the coast of the island of Taha'a. The resort sits on its own private little island, also known as a motu. We've got three days here to sink in, soak up, and relax until we melt into the warm, tropical ocean waters surrounding this little slice of paradise. <laughs> Look at where we are on planet Earth! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. We've got the whole day ahead of us, so let's start with a gourmet island breakfast buffet. This is probably the most remote destination either of us has ever visited on the planet. A tiny island off the coast of a tiny island, thousands of miles from land in every direction. Oh, and I can't forget to mention that there's an even tinier island out here where couples can get married or enjoy a private dinner. This place is truly a paradise on earth. Coming to Le Taha'a is like entering the gateway to Shangri-La. The vibe is tranquilizing. The scenery is beyond picturesque. The water is absolute heaven. And being here together, deepening our love and connection even more, is the greatest gift we could ever give ourselves. This is the first time we've ever stayed in an overwater bungalow, and I must admit, it is as dreamy as it looks. We're on this trip to call in a new soul to join our family, and I can't imagine celebrating that in any better of a place. We heard the best place to watch the sunset was from the helipad on the far side of the Motu, so we're off on a little adventure to hopefully catch a beautiful Polynesian sunset. Tonight is extra special here at the resort because it just so happens to be the one night a week they have a Tahitian dance and fire celebration alongside an incredible dinner buffet. With the live music and island beats, I can't help but get in the dancing mood myself. Hey, hey, hey. 
Polynesia has a commonly acknowledged third gender that has existed since ancient times. Although born male, Mahu grow up identifying closer to female, and throughout history have been respected teachers of hula. The Polynesians define gender as the will of spirit. It was refreshing to see this cultural acceptance celebrated. This is Tavita, a fixture at Leite Ha'a and one of the most interesting characters you're likely to meet almost anywhere. Covered head to toe with his life story, he is a man of many talents, but his most impressive is certainly the fire dance. What a day. We are already in love with this place and we just arrived. My soul is bursting with gratitude for every moment here and the best is yet to come. Another day in paradise. Let's go to breakfast. Diving! 
There's truly something special about scuba diving. It's hard to explain the feeling of being weightless while making eye contact with bizarre and beautiful creatures in an almost alien landscape. But time and time again, we find ourselves diving into the ocean any chance we get. The footage never does it justice, but we'll try our best. A long, long time ago, there was a volcano Living all alone in the middle of the sea sat high above his bed watching all the couples play and wishing that he had someone too and from his lover came this song of hope that he sang out loud every day for years and years I have a dream I hope will come true that you're here with me and I'm here with you. I wish that the earth, sea, and the sky up above will send me someone to love. Rising from the sea below Stood a lovely volcano Looking all around But she could not see him He tried to sing to let her know That she was not there alone But with no lava His song was all gone he filled the sea with his tears and watched his dreams disappear as she remembered what his song meant to her. I have a dream I hope will come true that you're here with me and I'm here with you. I wish that the earth, sea, and the sky up above will send me someone to love. Oh, they were so happy to finally meet above the sea. All together now, their lava grew and grew. No longer are they all alone with Aloha as their new home And when we visit them, this is what they sing I have a dream, I hope will come true That you'll grow old with me And I'll grow old with you We thank the earth, steer the sky, we thank too I love you I love you I love you Someone pinch me. I am just in heaven, floating in this gorgeous lagoon. I knew that I could resist you no more. 
Tahiti I hear you call And my heart Is lost far beyond recall Tahiti Your sunsets that dance in my eyes They convince me we're going jet skiing today. Every day, a new adventure. I can't wait. We're gonna tour the lagoon. I think they're gonna take us all the way around the whole island of Ha'a. Jump in with the fishes, hopefully see some sharks and some rays. It's a beautiful day. Let's go. Oh look, they're already waiting for us. All right. Are muscles. Look how big your muscles are. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Manuya. Manuya. Coconut as fresh as it gets. of trash that we found floating in the lagoon. Sometimes you gotta just take one for the team. No team Earth. Way to be a team Earth player. When the Earth provides this much majesty, I can't help but always think of ways to protect it and keep it clean. appreciation for octopuses after watching My Octopus Teacher on Netflix. And so when we spotted this octopus, I really focused my energy on opening wide my heart and communicating my deep respect. It hung around us and didn't leave like the other one. After a period of time, I held my hand out in a gesture for connection. And before long, the octopus reached a tentacle out, grasped my hand and let go. It was truly a peak experience of my life. We 
we've got our Huahine rum that we got from Huahine, of course. And uh, I forget the exact flavors that were in here, but I believe it was passion fruit, mango, ginger, lemon, vanilla, something like that. Manuya. Manuya. Our last dinner at Le Taha'a. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's here, but I feel like we've accomplished a lot. We've done a lot with our short time here, and it feels like we've been here for quite a while, doesn't it? It does, and you look amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my vahine. Susana e Good morning. We had big plans to wake up at five o'clock this morning and hop in a kayak and watch the sunrise, but our alarms didn't go off, so we woke up at a God awfully late 6.30. We have less time now, but we're gonna go kayak anyway because it's something we really wanted to do. Time for a beach cleanup. We got some recruits to join us. Landon, Landon. Ludivina, and Emerick. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's rock. It begins. Found a piece in the ocean already. Got my trash crew. As beautiful as French Polynesia is, we were shocked at how much trash we found on the ground. So we took it upon ourselves to organize an impromptu beach cleanup, and we even made a few new friends along the way. It begins already. Landon's crushing it. Five minutes in. This bag is full. Wine bottles, aluminum cans, flip flops, beach volleyballs, plastic wrappers. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go. Okay. Well, I think we just have to get as much as we can. We have maxed out our capacity. Merci beaucoup. Uh -huh. I think that's all we can do today. We should have brought five times as many bags, <laughs> and we should have brought a boat. I had no idea that we would find this much trash. No, at least it's something we were able to put a little dent. All right, let's load her up. Boom, thank you. Much appreciated. Boom, boom. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Yo, oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you, guys. It has been such a blessing and a pleasure and a joy and an experience staying here with this magical view. Unreal. All right, we got a boat to catch. Okay, let's go. Hard to believe it's been three days already, but I feel like we've been here for a week. We've done so much. 
had some big adventures, seen some incredible things. Stayed in an overwater bungalow for the first time in our lives. Just a peak, peak experience. And now we're on to Morea. And we left this place cleaner than we found it, which is always what you should do wherever you go. And we got some people to join us and they had a wonderful time too. And that's what it's all about, sharing wonderful experiences and meeting new people. Maruru! Tell us, your, tell us your name and and what you are and what you do. Yeah, so what's up everyone? So, oh, my name is Tera, Tera Hititea Perry, and uh, I've been uh, playing ukulele for 18 years now and teaching ukulele for 15 years. I'm a ukulele maker too. I've been traveling a lot like around the world because I'm the champion of ukulele for French Polynesia. Wow! Wow! Undefeated! <laughs> That's amazing. I see always a lot of YouTubers around here sometimes, but I don't really take time to talk to them. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks for saying hi. Yeah, thank All right, Maruru. Take care. Okay. So nice to meet you. Hoya! Hoya! You do all sorts of different jobs around here, yeah. huh? You do everything. What do the cheekies mean? Tiki is the 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 god, the god, the god, the god, the god, the meaning god, the god from the ocean. It's named Ruahatu. The god for the rain, the air, the blue, for everything. He's coming with us. Leitaha'a was a glorious bounty for my wonderstruck mind. It nourished every cell and fiber of my body and left an unforgettable imprint upon my spirit. We left this little slice of paradise feeling relaxed, refreshed, rejuvenated. The days flew by in a blur, but we made the most of our brief time, and this hidden gem will always hold a special place in our hearts. We are back at the airport, which means on to the next destination, which I'm really looking forward to, despite my demeanor. I'm just a little sad to have left like to ha because that was like and being in a fairy land. <laughs> flip-flops. Now it's time for a ferry ride. Well, that was definitely the most stressful part of this whole vacation. We didn't know how early we had to get to the ferry. We pulled up, I showed the guy my ticket, and he said, this is only the ticket for the car. 
where are your tickets? I said, this is all I got. He said, you gotta go. So I had to go to the counter, had to pay for four tickets, two for us there, two for us back. And I went to get back in the car and this guy ran up and said, get out, get out. I'm driving, in French, of course. And uh, he just basically took our car and drove it on. But at least we made it and we're gonna make it to Morocco. So that's all that matters. But next time, we're gonna get here at least 20 minutes early, not five. <laughs> These are the seats. We're on our way to our final Polynesian island, Mo'orea, a brief 45 minute ferry ride from Tahiti, but one of the destinations we're most looking forward to on this trip. Only the tiki's know what lies in store for us. Mm -hmm.